This week, Mercat Tours looks at best personality. Will this come to us courtesy of the old town or the new town? I admit to a certain bias here, as I examine the life and work of Sir James Young Simpson in approximately two minutes. There's a lot to cram in, so let's cut straight to the chase. Simpson is perhaps best known to the popular imagination as the man whose work with chloroform caught the eye of Queen Victoria herself. On the 7th of April, 1853, in line with his discoveries, she was provided with chloroform to ease the pain in giving birth to her eighth child. Thus, our personality already has the royal seal of approval. Sir James's rise to greatness took quite a long time and was never guaranteed. He had been born a younger son to a Bathgate family of bakers, but his parents believed in him sufficiently to send him to Edinburgh University. A typically classical enlightened education was followed by studies in medicine. By April 1830, he passed all his exams at the College of Surgeons at 18, despite still recovering from the death of his father, which had a deep impact on him. Over the next few years, he would work in both Edinburgh's new town and in Lithgowshire, a kind of rural surgeon, before gradually specialising in childbirth and charitable work at the Royal Dispensary for the Poor. He continued his birthing studies whilst on tour in Europe, taking in Paris and Belgium in 1835, before returning to Edinburgh as a GP, now specialising in obstetrics, a discipline much maligned by his peers. Simpson's personality has been described as bigger than life, and this sense of magnetism may have helped him push the boundaries of medical studies, as when he argued that Victorian hospitals were dangerously cramped and badly ventilated, leading to high mortality rates. He also supported the right of women to study medicine. Sir James died peacefully at his Queen Street home on 6 of May 1870. His impressively large statue, however, can be found in a very prominent location on the western side of Princess Street. For his unimpeachable contribution to medical science, deeply felt sense of compassion, and good humour, to say nothing of his wondrous dress sense, I hope you might agree that Sir James Young Simpson fully deserves the title of Best Personality.